Morgan's Tackle and Fish the Break Time Boat. Uh, this is Matt Mishler, he's a charter captain out of Grand Haven. Today we're going to show you on how to tie some knots with the copper, um, work with the stainless for the wire divers, and we're going to show you some slide diver rigs and a few other things you can do with our product. First knot we're going to show you is an Albright. Uh, this is a 45 pound copper. First thing you're going to want to do is make a small loop. So you're going to end up with that. Then you're going to come in with your mono. Come up through the hole. Come down. <clears throat> so you're through the hole. Come back. You want to do six wraps. Once you got your six wrap, you're going to come back through the hole the opposite way and cinch tight. Sometimes you just want to take and tighten up your little loop there a little bit. Get another pull. And that is your basic Albright. Then just tr trim your tabs. Put a little twist and you're ready to fish. Okay, now we're going to show it to you with a little bit of yarn, a little bit easier to see. The brown is your copper and the yellow will be your line. You're going to go through the, through the loop, down, six wraps. Get your six wraps, come back through, and cinch it tight. And that's your basic Albright. Now we're going to show you a setup using a spro, a number eight spro, a piece of shrink tube. This is the same 45 pound copper. Put your copper through your shrink tube. Through your spro, come back and give it four to six, four to five good twists. Once you have that, you come down, trim your tagline. Bring your shrimp shrink tube back over the top just to the edge of your spro. You want to leave a little loose there so the spro still has a little action. Okay, once you've got that done, you want to let it cool down. Once it's cool, you'll come back and use whichever knot you prefer. I just use an improved clinch. Cut your tagline. And you're good to go. Okay, this is the knot we use to terminate on a wire diver when you're going to use a straight wire diver without a slide diver. First thing you want to do is put your bead on. This will keep when the swivel comes up from getting wrapped inside your the eye of your rod. Make a loop like that. Go through the, through the eye of your swivel, 
come up through. And cinch it. Once you've got that, you go up three, four inches in just a simple overhand knot. And you're ready to go. All right, what we're going to show you here is how to connect two copper segments together. Uh, if you were to break off, or you want to add more onto your current segment. You're going to take your two coppers here, and you're going to twist five to six times with one side, one way. You want to make sure your wraps are tight. And you're going to do the same, but then go the other way with this one. So you're going to go. Just like so. And then you're going to trim your tag ends, and that will be connected and will not break. One thing I want to show you um, is a new hybrid that we've come up with. A lot of new people I have to say they're having problems with backlashing. Uh, it's keeping them from using copper. We have learned the two colors of lead core is equal to about 10 foot of copper. So what we are doing is say we want to have a 300 copper. We're cutting it back to 290 and we're adding two colors of lead core. In just a few minutes I'll show you how that's put together. And what that's going to do is as you're when you're letting this out, it's going to give you some restriction so it slides off nice and slow. Then once the lead core is in the water, it pulls on the copper and you get a nice smooth release on it. Okay, so this is basically what you're going to have on your hybrid. This is your copper coming into about one foot of mono into your lead core. Okay, one thing I want to show you real quick. Every real manufacturer has this. Um, people are having problems uh, with copper backlashing, letting it out too fast. Every manufacturer puts magnetics in their reels. What you want to do is have that just tight enough where when you're starting out that you have to pull. <clears throat> that way it's not free spooling by itself. And usually once you get out about 20, 30 foot and the copper starts coming out, it'll start pulling on its own and then you can let it go. I hope this uh, video was beneficial uh, for the use of our product. Make sure you visit your local Morgan's Tackle Company dealer in your hometown. Thank you.